Number one says this diagram was created by starting with points A and B and using only a straight edge and a compass to construct the rest. All the steps of the construction are visible. Describe precisely the straight edge and compass moves required to construct line segment CD. So let's start by kind of redoing this. So if we just put two points, and if you notice, the points are on each of the circles. So we've got A and a circle centered around that. And then um, we've got B and a circle centered around that. And they both go through each point. So if we took um, and had the points already written out, so let me just write those as A and B. Then we would want to um, take a compass, center it at A, open it to a width or a radius of AB and draw a circle. So that's going to be kind of the first step. Then you would want to do the same thing, do a circle centered at B also with a radius of AB to ensure that it goes through both points. Then we could label these intersections. So where these two circles intersect, we could label them as C and D. And then we would use a straight edge or like a ruler to draw a segment that goes through those intersections. So that's how they created it. Um, so that you can see a visual of that. So let's actually um, write out all those steps. So number one, um, and it said that we it already had points A and B labeled for us. So then first thing we're gonna do is create a circle with center A and radius AB. So that was the first circle that we drew. Second step was to create another circle, this time with center B and also radius AB again, so that they would go through points A and B. Um, and then that created the two circles. Uh, third thing that we needed to do was label the intersection points. So label the intersection of circle well, let's do intersections since there's, since there's two. So label the intersections of circle A and circle B. And then I'm going to shorten this. Okay. Um, so label the intersections of circle A and circle B as um, point C and D. And then the fourth thing was connect um, or create segment um, CD. All right, number two says in the construction, A is the center of one circle. So let me get that. Let's actually get that colored here. Okay, so we've got circle A. So it starts at A. So there's that circle and then a circle that is centered at B. So we'll color that one blue. Um, identify all segments that have the same length as segment AB. So let's get that one highlighted on here as well. So here is AB. Notice that AB is the radius of the orange circle. It is also the radius of the blue circle. So let's find some other segments that are that um, same length. I'm just gonna color them in in purple here. All right, so AC. So is AC the same length as AB? And it is because it is a radius of the orange circle and so is the green one. And we know all radii are the same length. So this one is good. Um, how about segment AE? And AE is also a radius center to edge of the orange circle. So is the green one. Okay, so that's good. Segment BC. Okay, so if it starts at B and ends at C. Whoops. So BC is a radius of the blue circle, so is the green segment. So again, same length if they're both radii of the same circle. Um, is it the same length as segment CD? And that would be a no, that is not a radius. 
and then um, segment DE. Again, not a radius of the orange circle, so not the same length. All right, number three in this diagram, or sorry, this diagram was constructed with a straight edge and compass tools. A is the center of one circle. Oops, let me get the color changed here. All right, A is the center of one circle and C is the center of the other circle. Select all line segments that must have the same length as AB. So let's get AB written on here. So here is AB. Let me make that bolder so you can see it better. All right, there's AB. So what other segments have the same length as AB? Well, AB would be the same length as itself, so that one's for sure good. Um, AC. So here's A, here's C. A is the center, C is on the edge, so it's a radius just like AB is. So that one would be the same length as AB. Um, BC. So BC, just the two points are on the edge of the circle. That does not guarantee that they are the same length as a radius. Um, BD, so BD um, is within that blue circle. It's a chord, goes edge to edge in the blue circle. Not guaranteed to be the same length as AB. Um, and then CD. So CD is a radius, but CD is the radius of the blue circle, and um, AB is not a radius within that blue circle. So those two are not the same length. Number four, Claire used a compass to make a circle with a radius the same length as AB. So she measured how, or she opened her compass to how long AB was and then created this orange circle. So all of the radii within that orange circle are going to be the same length as AB. So let me just draw AB here in orange. So this is the length of the radius in the orange circle. So let's decide which um, statements must be true here. So is AB equal to CD? And here is CD. So are those two segments the same length? And that would be false because CD has the center, but the other point isn't on the edge of the circle, so it is not the length of the radius. Um, is AB equal to CE? And again, E is not on the edge of the circle, so that is not a radius, so it's not going to be equal to AB. Would AB be equal to CF? So C is on the center, F is on the edge, that is a radius, so that would be the same length. And then finally is um, AB the same length as EF? Well, we don't know that that's the same length of the radius, so that is not guaranteed to be true.